Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Today I'm going to take a look at Cisco's new video endpoints. These are brand new into uh, 2020. One is the Desk Pro and the other is the Room Panorama System. So uh, anyway, if you're new here, consider subscribing. I'd love to have a thumbs up on this video. If you find this helpful, let's dive in and check it out. First of all, here you can see the Desk Pro. This is a 27 inch desktop unit. Uh, works good for both personal use or a small huddle space use. Uh, this is actually not really a replacement for the DX80. The DX80 is a little bit smaller, works a little bit differently. This is, uh, you could almost think of this as a WebEx board, a 27 inch WebEx board, if you will. It's uh, a very nice endpoint. Let's check out another picture here. Here's a guy using one as a second monitor for desktop. You can co-create on this. You can do a lot of different stuff on this. It can be your monitor. You can whiteboard. The video is actually very intelligent as well. It doesn't do full-blown speaker track, but it will uh, digitally enhance the image. So if you stand up or sit down, it's going to adjust the image picture accordingly. Likewise, if there's a second person there, uh, assuming they're in front of the endpoint, it will crop the image uh, accordingly. Likewise, uh, as a desktop secondary desktop monitor, you can use it much like most folks use uh, DX80s today, uh, but it's a 27 inch display instead of a 23. The camera is built into the bezel. The sound on this thing is awesome. Whiteboarding, there's no limitations on whiteboarding. It's going to whiteboard the same way that uh, really that you're used to on a WebEx board. A couple more uh, technical specs, um, 71 degree field of view for the camera. There's noise cancellation uh, in the microphone array, so very intelligent from that perspective. It is 27 inches. Uh, it's a 4K display that's touch enabled. So a lot of the things you can do on the WebEx board, again, you can do on this. You can enable uh, macros. You can enable uh, different functionalities. You can hide the functionalities if you need to. Uh, again, everything that you do on a WebEx board, you can do here. There's a digital whiteboarding pen. Likewise, you can use uh, just finger touch to, uh, to operate the thing as well. And there's a 3.1 speaker array with directional audio. So even in a large area, the sound is still going to sound great. Uh, and it's going to be more, more focused on you as the person using this rather than the rest of the room. All right, so the next endpoint is the panorama system. Now, you may be familiar with the iX5000, the three-screen immersive that uh, it's designed to feel as though you are sitting across the table from the individuals on the other end of the call. The Panorama, while it looks like some of the other endpoints that are out, the MX700, 800, or the Room 70D, those type of endpoints, it does the, the immersive experience, right? So you have two video feeds that are essentially one. You can see that here in this image. Uh, it does come with a content display that's above as well. You can see that it's designed with, uh, at least in this implementation, with the same table on both sides. So it really gives you that that feeling as though you are across the table from the folks on the other end of the call. I had a customer say, well geez I have to rearrange my immersive rooms and kind of come up with a different format. Uh, you know, honestly you don't have to. A lot of times you'll see this with a table uh, or table on both sides of the call. You could still configure this with a table similar to the uh, the iX5000, right? Everyone facing forward, uh, even a second row if you'd like. Uh, it gives you that same feeling. It is two screens, but they're larger. Uh, and again, content display above. Here's another look at it from a boardroom perspective. You can see here, uh, again, the credenza, the wall credenza thing is built in with the content above. Great looking table, touch 10 to control it, so it's a consistent user experience uh, across this endpoint as well as uh, on all of your other endpoints for that matter. All right, so here's some of the technical specs. It has the panorama and speaker tracking camera for rooms uh, up to nine meters or 30 feet uh, in depth. Uh, there's a 83 field of view, you know, kind of overview camera and three 50 degree field of view uh, lenses in there. Again, this is that quad camera that you're familiar with already, but it takes it to the next level to uh, produce uh, even, uh, you know, even a better experience from an immersive perspective. The speaker array is mounted above, so you get a high quality audio experience as well. And it's, it's designed, again, so that it sounds like the audio is coming from the individual who's speaking. 
This unit has two 82-inch uh, 8K displays and one 65-inch 4K display. The 4K display is for content. The uh, 8Ks are for video, so super clear picture. Uh, there's the, uh, the, the there's a codec in that's built in that drives it. You can do both wireless presentation or cabled presentation sharing with this. Um, and I think I mentioned before, Touch 10 controlled. So anything you're doing with a Touch 10, you can continue to do that with this endpoint. There are five table microphones included by default that you can uh, you know spread around accordingly. Really a, uh, a pretty cool endpoint. The last thing I want to leave you with is a place to go to stay up to date on this. This is Cisco's Project Workplace, and I have the view here of a number of different rooms and workspaces that are built out. You can actually click through these if you go to projectworkplace.cisco.com. You can actually click down through these, see these workspaces, and understand how they're built, what endpoints are in use, and then um, you know kind of go from there. Understand sizing and, and those types of things. So awesome resource i send people to this almost daily um but uh but yeah encourage you to check it out if you're not already familiar with it hopefully you found that a helpful introduction to the latest cisco video endpoints these should be available very early on in 2020 if you have questions comments tips or tricks leave them in the video comments section below uh, if you want to know more about these endpoints be sure to reach out to your local cisco partner or cisco account team uh, as always thank you for watching I hope you had a great 2019, and I'm looking forward to seeing you again in 2020. Take care, and uh, we'll see you again soon.